What if your skin watched you with special high-tech cameras, UV camera? The results appeared a bit disturbing, and why not? There are so many hidden things in this universe, I know you are busy. Sometimes you feel like you're too busy applying sunscreen, or that sunscreen isn't that important. After watching this video, your opinion may change. Please take the time to watch this amazing video online and watch it with your kids. This camera can be used to show the effect of the sun, on surfaces, skin and children and if you have a child, you should watch this video, to learn how to protect your children from these rays. Dear followers of the channel, what if we need more support, so I hope that you will subscribe to the channel and support the video, so that we can continue to raise more interesting topics. Well, often when we hear about UV rays we don't give it much attention. After listening to the video content, you will completely change your outlook. Ultraviolet rays are rays that we do not see, unlike animals that can see them. The UV camera reveals the best way to apply sunscreen to the face to protect our skin from these dangerous rays. A lot of people went out into the sun with a UV camera to find out the hidden truth behind these rays. People were able to see the shape of their skin and the changes they get under ultraviolet light, as shown to us in the video and one of the most exciting parts of this video is the application of sunscreen to block ultraviolet rays. This camera can be used to show the effect of the sun on surfaces, skin and children. The video also shows us the importance of the sun in protecting our genetic material from these rays that may lead to cancer. Thomas Leverett went down to a park in New York and showed people what their faces would look like when viewed using ultraviolet light. The special camera detects invisible changes from the appearance of sunlight on the skin, such as freckles and freckles, brown spots commonly referred to as sunspots or age spots. In the video they were surprised to see how much sun shades are invisible to the special camera, and then the participants are asked to put on sunscreen with the special UV light in the camera, seeing how the sunscreen protects your skin is really unbelievable. I am sure you have read and heard how important it is to protect your skin from sun exposure by avoiding the sun's rays and wearing protective clothing and an applicator. Sunscreen is on the skin, but after watching this video I hope you'll see why it's so important to wear sunscreen every day. Have you ever wondered what your skin looks like in the sun? I know it's funny but with special high-tech cameras, you can see what your skin looks like under ultraviolet, UV, light. It can be alarming or it can be amazing. The question remains, what is the difference? First of all, sunscreen. Camera shows sunscreen is a must. A camera can show you what your skin looks like with or without sunscreen. It does this by being able to see ultraviolet light, which is light that the human eye can't detect, but that comes primarily from the sun, which is what causes skin tans, and so on. It causes skin damage, sunburn and aging of the skin. The results are a bit worrying. The UV camera detects freckles and dark spots, yes, both are forms of skin damage, that haven't appeared yet. It even works on young people. It essentially allows you to see skin damage before it is visible to the naked eye. This is skin damage that can be prevented with sunscreen. In contrast, with sunscreen on UV light it cannot reach the face. It is this ultraviolet light that causes 90% of skin damage and skin aging. The camera thus provides a visual example of how sunscreen can protect your skin. Now you can actually see how important it is to wear sunscreen all the time, all year round, and in all weather, even now in the cold late fall. Without sunscreen, the cumulative effects of sun UV exposure will lead to premature aging and skin damage years later. One by one, the video participants are treated to a view of their faces in this special camera filter. The results were shocking, even those with seemingly perfect. Flawless skin found patches of sun damage lurking beneath the surface. When people smeared sunscreen on their faces, hard black marks resembling discoloration appeared on their skin. Sunscreen filters and blocks UV rays so the camera can't work, says Dr. Jallyman. Not many of the people featured in the video were wearing sunscreen, but even those who spend very little time outdoors should wear it every day. Just being outside for 10 minutes a day, you'll still suffer from cumulative sun damage that builds up over time if you're not protected, says Dr. Jallyman. And whether it's 5 or 10 years from now, that damage will eventually show up on your skin.
high energy ultraviolet rays, the only one capable of damaging DNA in cells, so these rays are a major cause of cancer, that is why scholars warn against it, why not, these rays penetrate the skin, but with its seriousness, it does not have enough energy to penetrate the body deeply, what is limited to its effect mainly on the skin, as this video shows you, well after all this, you are now asking yourself does VN harm my skin and what are its disadvantages, well, I will tell you the scientific truth of this thing, the effect of ultraviolet rays on the skin varies in the long term, for example, the wrinkles that we see with age, this is direct damage to her the indirect the damage it causes to cells is sunburn and skin cancer, but what we should be aware of is that these rays cause damage to the eyes, as exposure to ultraviolet rays in the retina, lenses, or cornea, which actually leads to cataracts, therefore, scientists warn looking at it for a long time. You are asking yourself now, is the sun the only source of ultraviolet rays? Scientifically, the sun is the main source of this energy, it reaches the earth on many factors, including the time when UV rays are at their highest between 10 am and 4 pm. In these hours, it is not recommended to stay in the sun for a long time. On the other hand, it varies from season to season. They are strong during the spring and summer months. The exposure to these rays decreases as we move away from the Earth's equator. The higher we go from the surface of the Earth, the stronger these rays become. Therefore, how harmful ultraviolet rays are, depends on the strength of the rays and the length of exposure to them, and also varies if the skin is protected by clothing or not. It is the main cause of sunburn, even on cold, foggy or cloudy days, which burns your skin as severely as direct sunlight. It must be mentioned that there are industrial sources that expose us to ultraviolet rays, and they include both tanning beds and ultraviolet sterilization lamps. Extreme UV rays with a shorter wavelength of less than 121 nanometers ionize the air so strongly that it is absorbed before it reaches the ground. However, ultraviolet radiation, specifically, UVB, is also responsible for vitamin D synthesis in most terrestrial vertebrates, including humans. Thus, the UV spectrum has both beneficial and detrimental effects on life. The minimum wavelength of human vision is 400 nanometers, so ultraviolet rays are invisible to humans, although people can sometimes perceive light at wavelengths shorter than that. Insects, birds, and some mammals can see near ultraviolet light, that is, wavelengths that are slightly shorter than what humans can see. 